Hello, YouTube family. I'm Patty Jackson. I'm your auntie of pop culture, and I intend to keep you informed with a lot of things. Please pass the word. Please subscribe. I'm having trouble with those. And hit the like button, because we love giving you information. Let's talk about an upcoming, and this is real, y'all, an upcoming R. Kelly boycott. When you look at what happened with Bill Cosby for years, he got away with it. They're looking to put a ban on R. Kelly. You already have many radio stations across the country who are not playing his music. He took to Instagram to say he doesn't know why they're canceling his shows. Kells, you know why they're canceling your shows. Now, he's recently lost his publicist, his lawyer, those closest to him. Why are they abandoning R. Kelly right now? He knows why. All these years, they stood by him. R. Kelly is well into his 50s. Will he ever be punished for sexual misconduct? It's going to be really interesting. A lot of top names are saying, shut R. Kelly down, and they're going to hit him where it hurts in his pockets, especially when people will not book him for shows. Are you up for a Destiny's Child reunion? Okay. Kelly and Michelle are going to be joining Beyonce on several dates of the On The Run tour. You're probably saying to yourself, well, why not the whole tour? Because they've got families. Michelle's getting married to a preacher. They're busy. But on some of the dates for On The Run with Jay-Z and Beyonce, you will see Destiny's Child the daytime Emmys. It was shocking at some of the wins. We got to give big ups to the real. Those ladies are doing it without Tamar. By the way, they won Outstanding Talk Show. That means that the real, this is like a little David and Clyde story, the real beat out the view. It beat out the talk. The ladies are on top of the world, and I'm sure with this daytime Emmy win, it's going to assure them another victory. Good morning, America, big winner. Judge Mathis, a big winner for Court Show. Steve Harvey for Informative Talk Show. And Wayne Brady won as the best game show host. Congratulations to the winners of the daytime Emmys. George Clinton, he's 76. How long will the P-Funk go on? He's going to retire next year. He says, just give him one more year. He says he doesn't want to let the Funketeers down, but he says, give him one more year. George Clinton says he's ready to retire. Can we talk Avengers Infinity 4? Okay, some people liked it, some people didn't. Some people were sad. This is what I'm going to tell you. Without doing spoiler alerts, next April, there will be an Avengers 4. But before that, it's Captain Marvel. Captain Marvel is a woman. And she teams up with Samuel L. Jackson as Nick Fury. That's coming out in March. So if you were sad, cheer up, because Avengers 4 is coming. It broke all kind of box office records to be the best-selling movie ever. Even beating out Star Wars and just so. The Avengers is sitting pretty, but... I think we'll get an answer to a lot of our questions for those who saw it and were left like, what? Next April, when it arrives. Now, before all of this, I believe Ant-Man is coming. There's so many, like, Marvel stories, so you got to check that out. Mariah Carey's going to return to Vegas. She recently revealed she suffered from bipolarism. Well, Mariah Carey's going to be doing another Vegas, Las Vegas run. Another residency, and it kicks off July the 5th. Maxwell's going to be here for Mother's Day, yes, in Atlantic City. Maxwell Gladys Knight and Vivian Green, make sure you get your tickets. Mother's Day weekend, everybody. It's a Mother's Day music fest. They're going to be in concert at Boardwalk Hall Saturday, May 12th. I'm Patty Jackson. I'm the auntie of pop culture, and you can... Turn us on, tune us in, subscribe, spread the word, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, let us know what you like, what you don't like, but we love giving you entertainment news, pop culture news, because you know what I say, not knowing is not cute. I'm Patty Jackson, I'm the auntie of pop culture, thanks for joining us.